Okay, guys, so this week for actually for the next two weeks, we are going to be doing a unit over animal research for our writing. So we're going to be um, doing an animal research project for writing. So um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about research. So like, what is research? Um, what do researchers do? So research is where you are, you have a certain topic and you're researching things about that topic. And so we're going to think of ourselves as researchers and we're going to talk about what do researchers do? So you'll need this handout. Um, this is the first handout you're going to need for today. It's elements of research. What do researchers do? And we have one, two, three, four, six things we're going to talk about what researchers do. So the first thing we're gonna write in the first box is researchers brainstorm topic ideas, okay? So before they, um, they have a topic and before they're gonna start writing, just like in any other type of writing, they're gonna brainstorm ideas for their topic. Brainstorm, what are we gonna write about? Um, what are the different um, things that we're gonna be looking for? So in the first box, we're going to put brainstorm topic ideas. Okay. The second thing that researchers do is they choose a topic to research. So once they have brainstormed their topic ideas, kind of what they want to research, now they need to choose a topic. So for instance, our topic is going to be animals. So we're going to brainstorm here in a little bit the different types of animals we can research. And then we're going to choose a topic to research. That's going to go in the second box. Choose a topic. to research, okay? Now, the third thing, so we've brainstormed, we've choose a topic, now researchers need to search for information. So now we need to, you know, use our different resources, whether it's books, whether it's magazines, whether it's the internet. So let me go back, so I don't think y'all heard me. So we're gonna search for information. That's what's gonna go in our third box, search for information. After we search the information, we are going to organize the information. And we're going to kind of um, start putting our information into sentences, seeing where would we be writing, where in our um, report would we be writing this information. So that's gonna go in the box down here, organize information. Okay, after we organize our information, we're gonna ask questions. Researchers ask questions. Do I have all the information? Is there anything missing? Should I go and research more? We're going to ask questions about what we found, how we organize it. Okay. And then the last thing researchers do, guys, is we share what we learn. We take what we have and we're sharing it. So I'm going to write that in our last box. Share what. they learned, okay? So we are sharing what they learned. Now, now let's talk, now we know what, now that we know what researchers do and what we're gonna be doing, now let's talk about what we're gonna be writing about. So we're gonna be writing about animals and not just, um, not about all animals, but we're specifically going to pick one animal. But before we can remember researchers, before we can choose a topic to research, we need a brainstorm. We're going to work on this first part. So we're going to work on this first part right here, where it says, 
um, brainstorm topic ideas. Okay, so this is the very first step to writing a research or doing a research report. Um, so we're going to brainstorm um, our topic ideas. So the next handout you are going to need for today is this little handout that, that looks like this. So guys, there are so many different types of animals and animals are categorized by amphibians, birds, fish, mammals, and reptiles. So let's talk about each one of these different types of animals before we start brainstorming. So here I have um, a website I found that talks about what each of them are. So animals, they give birth to live young. So they have like these right here, like little pigs, mouse, they have hair or fur. A mammal's mother nurses their young with milk and they're warm blooded. So these are gonna be like your cats, your dogs, um, pigs, horses, um, chickens. Um, I don't know, chickens, mammals. Oh, chickens are mammals, I don't know. Goats, cows. Um, those are all mammals. Reptiles, they have scale, have scales, not fur. They have dry skin, usually lay eggs, sometimes live young, and they're cold blooded. So these are like your snakes, your lizards. Um, well, I don't even know what other reptiles there are. Snakes, I already said snakes. I'm sure there are more reptiles out there. I just can't think of some. Birds, they have feathers and wings and they lay eggs. They're warm blooded. Amphibians, they live on land and in water. They are cold blooded. They lay eggs. They have moist skin and webbed feet. Fish, breathe underwater using gills, have scales and fins. They're cold blooded and they lay eggs. These are the different types. It says these are the different types of animals that we are going to be talking about. So what I want you to do is on your paper. On your paper that looks like this, you are going to, guys, and you can use the internet to help you. I want you to tell me what, um, what kind of animals you would like to research that are amphibians, birds, fish, mammals, reptiles, okay? So um, I at least want two or three for each one, okay? So you at least have to have Let's just say you at least have to have two for each. Okay, and think about ones that you really would like to learn information about. Ones that you would, um, like for instance, an emu is a bird. Oh my God, I really would like to learn more about emus. Um, fish, I really would like to know about sharks and dolphins. Um, amphibians, I really would like to know about toads or frogs. So just think of animals that you would really like to know about in look up that information and write about. So I at least want two for each for each category. If you come up with more, that's great. Now remember, you're going to be picking from the list that you make. So make sure these are animals that you would want to research. Okay, so I want two for each. This is the only paper that you have to upload. Okay. Remember, you can use the internet to help you or books that you have. 